Hey everybody, it's Mordecai Schwartz with the Mordecai Schwartz Show. I just wanted to say what's up to everybody and I really I really did not know what to say in this video. I'm I've been sitting here just going over stuff that I wanted to say and I I really do not know what to say. I I just cannot believe that our president is acting the way he's acting and talking the way he is talking. And I, I mean, I just, I, I, I don't understand it. And a lot of people say, oh, he's, he's unconventional. He just tells it like it is. That's how it is. You do not talk to people this way. You do not lump a certain group of people all into one category. You have to watch what you say. You are the president of the United States. You are one of the one of, if not the most powerful person in the world. You have to not handle everything with, with uh, kid gloves, but you have to be compassionate. You have to be understanding. You can't just, I, I don't even have a Twitter account. I don't even have Facebook, but I definitely wouldn't be uh, uh, tweeting and um, just saying stupid stuff. And then all these news outlets, I love CNN, so I'm not talking trash about CNN, but they don't want to call a lie a lie. A lie is a lie. That's what a lie, a, a, everyone knows what a lie is. And then when you mislead us every day, you know, and uh, um, Kellyanne Conway and her, her alternative facts, there's no such thing as an alternative fact. No such thing at all. I mean, I, I'm watching the news, y'all, and I am physically sweating. I have, I'm watching the news and beads of sweat are dripping from my underarms. And I'm like, oh my God, like I really have to change the channel. So I watch Ridiculousness. I love Ridiculousness. So I watched that. I got a couple of laughs and then I felt better. And then I drank me some tequila, which is from Mexico. So I feel a little bit better after I drunk some tequila. Matter of fact, I still got a little bit of tequila left in this cup. You know, this is what I wanted to say because I wanted to touch a lot of, on a lot of points like on Obamacare and everything like that. So, as far as Obamacare is concerned or the Affordable Care Act. Now, when I signed up for the, now in North Carolina, they, I had a subsidy of like $3,200 a year. Um, this is when I worked at the casino, making $10 an hour, you know, plus tips. They knew this. And um, I got subsidies of $3,200 a year. Then I moved to Florida. In Florida, I don't, I don't know. But anyway, I don't know what I got in subsidies because I don't really remember. But I know that I end up paying $77 a month. I don't have... The Affordable Care Act anymore. I'm on um, insurance through the company that I work for. Now, $77 a month, right? And now every two weeks, I'm paying $187 on the insurance that I get from my the company that I work for. So every two weeks, I'm paying $187 for my health care, which is the same thing I was getting on the Affordable Care Act and I was paying $77 a month. So on the Affordable Care Act, I was paying $77 a month. So all the, I don't have any kids, I'm single, $77 a month. And this is, because I'm a hypochondriac, so I have the broad spectrum of everything. It's not like I just got like some little uh, plan because, oh, you know, I don't get sick and stuff like that. I gotta get flu shots. I gotta go to the doctor. If I got a bump on me, I gotta go see what that is. So that means I have to go to the dermatologist. My scalp itches, I gotta go get that checked out because that's what my insurance affords me to do. So I take advantage of that. Now, I understand that some people, the uh, insurance may be high, but for the majority of the people, they get subsidies. See, they don't, they don't say this, and it was irritating me a lot and now, see, I live in a uh, predominantly Republican city. Donald Trump did his thing or I didn't go. Uh, every, every, almost everybody from my job is Republican. I felt so, so stupid going into work after the election. I felt so damn dumb 
I'm rooting for Hillary, and I love Hillary, and all this stuff they're saying about Hillary Clinton is not true. Because th they'll ask me, this one man, he said, um, you know, who you vote, who, who did you vote for? I said, I vote, I voted for Hillary Clinton. He said, boy, do you know where you live at? First of all, that boy thing got me. I didn't even say anything. He said, boy, do you know where you live at? I said, yeah, I live in a $333,000 house. That's where I live at. That's where I live. Now, where do you live? That's what I said. So, you know, you put that, you, those, those two phrases together. You know, a lot of people don't understand where a lot of that comes from. But yeah, and I'm a Democrat because I was born a Democrat. So, therefore, I agree with a lot of things. And, and even without me being born a Democrat, And a lot of people say that, um, you know, Dem blacks did used to be the uh, with the party of Lincoln. We did used to be Republicans until Republicans started getting an influx of Democrats that were not so nice to black people or not really didn't have the um, the uh, thought even of white people. Uh, I mean, of black people even being around, you know, so you're going to go to where you feel comfortable or where you feel wanted. You're going to feel, you're going to go to where you feel a part of. So if a party is saying, oh, well, not so much as we'll do this, because I don't get anything for free. I don't live in a ratchet neighborhood. I don't live in the ghetto. I don't live in Chicago. None of my family lives in Chicago. Nobody I know lives in Chicago. Maybe there's some couple of people I met near here from spring break. All of us do not live in the same neighborhood. Do not lump all of us together. I did not go to a raggedy-ass school. Okay, I went to a school that was predominantly Jewish, first of all. The, the name, the name, look at, look at the name. It's Mordecai Schwartz. That's what the name is. So I went to a predominantly Jewish high school. I went to college. So all of us, and then not even all of us, somebody, okay. I told you where I live at, right? Or the, I didn't tell you where, but the demographic of where I live. So, right now our store has been robbed every day, right? We've already put up the no trespassing signs. We already put up um, uh, another security camera and we're still getting robbed because the police are supposed to be going by doing their drive-bys. They, they, they go by, but it's a, long, it's a long stretch of road. They don't actually go behind to where the dumpsters are. For the last five nights, we've been robbed. Who has it been? It ain't been nobody that looked like me, boo-boo. Nobody that looks like me. You know, so while we're classified as the bad ones, you know, there's, there's problems everywhere. Like they say, okay, yeah, okay, the blacks, including myself, this is, the, this is what they say, not what, and when I mean, y'all know what I mean when I say they. I'm not talking about all white people. I'm not talking about all of any group of people. I'm just saying they, the people that actually believe this. That, okay, we're all violent. Right? Well, no, a lot of us are outspoken because we don't have to be silenced. We can say what we want to say. This is America, the freedom of speech. See, and that's when you get, you get everything out of order. You can say what you want to say, but I can't say what I want to say. And it, I'm an American just like you are. So I have the right to freedom of speech as well, do I not? So I can say what I want to say, but I'm not going to say anything that is divisive or anything that is ignorant or anything that is a lie, not intentionally anyway. I would never, and another thing too, I respect minorities because I am a minority. I am a black American that happens to have European ancestry, Native American ancestry, Jewish ancestry, Southeast Asian ancestry, and the biggest part of my ancestry is African, East and West African. So why would I even, even have anything negative to say about another minority? We're all trying to live through this together. Black, brown, white, I mean, it's it, it just it makes no sense to me 
on everything that is going on. And I, I tried, I didn't even, I see, I don't even know what to say in this video now. I just have to get this off my chest because I am sweating. I am upset even with, I just, I, I don't get it. Mexicans are the hardest working people I have ever seen that work for money. Now, slaves, the hardest working because they had to work. You either get your ass beat, get your hand chopped off, your wife get raped, your babies get sold off. So you know what I'm saying. And right now, because I know a lot of them that work very hard. We had this one guy at my job, Javier. We had a stain on the floor from when the where the uh, cashier had got moved, the cash register had got moved from the front to where the windows are. Javier was on his knees scrubbing that stain, and we had people coming to buff the floors and fix the floors. I looked at him. I said, "You don't get your ass up off that floor. You don't get your ass up off that floor, and you got these people seeing you on your knees scrubbing. You get up. You clean the harder than everybody else that work here. Don't don't do that." We got people coming to get these floors. You know, I just, I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't like seeing that. I didn't like seeing. He was working hard as hell, working hard as hell. All the ones I ever seen in North Carolina, not everyone, but the majority. You know what I'm saying? Working hard. When he used to come to the casino, work hard. The one of the the uh, casino attendants that worked with me had got. He got loud with Mr. Diaz because Mr. Diaz was saying ten. I mean, Mr. Diaz was saying his name, and he thought Mr. Diaz was saying 10. So he didn't know what was going to say. He flicked the money at Mr. Diaz. He flicked the money and Mr. Diaz, and the money that went on the floor, and Mr. Diaz had to get the money. I said, don't you ever do that. Don't you ever do that. Don't you ever disrespect another. Well, he, he was white, but he was cool. He was cool with me. But I told him, don't you ever do that. Don't you ever let me see you do that. Don't you disrespect you need to understand what this man is saying instead of flicking some money at him. I thought that was very disrespectful because I wouldn't want anybody to flick flick anything at me. You have to treat people how you want to, you know, how you want to be treated. And I'm trying to get my words right, y'all, because I'm a little upset. I just, and I'm, I'm a, I'm a, oh my God, I'm like the happiest black guy you would ever want to meet. I'm like Wayne Brady, but like cranked up a little bit higher than him. So it's it's just that it's Friday. I just came home from work. I just I knew I had to do a video. I just didn't know what I was gonna do, and I did not know that I was gonna. Oh my goodness, just get like this with it. But you know, you just don't come out immediately and start telling lies. Then you think, excuse me. Then you think three million people voted illegally. And that they, they didn't vote. You say they didn't vote for you. This is what you're saying. Every time I've went to go vote, I have been ID'd to vote. I have had my ID with me. So don't... I've, I've had my ID with me. I've been ID'd every time I went to go vote. And they, they actually have me listed as a white male. And I told them this. Everybody at my job knows because I told them this. I told them, I said, y'all, and even online, I said, y'all have me listed as a white male. I am not a white male. As you can see this, I told the people at the um, the voting booth. And they, you know, they said, okay, it's fine. They giggled about it. You know, it's not, I mean, I don't really know if it makes a difference or not. But I'm telling y'all what I told them. And they told me, okay, you know, whatever. They have all the other information is uh, correct. Mordecai Schwartz, my address, where I live at, everything is correct. My birth date, birth date is correct but they have me listed as a white male they don't have me listed as black so i so they should have corrected that when i told them immediately then i'm not you know a white male which is fine because brian said that the um when they were um the republican party came to knock on people's doors they asked for me may i may i speak to mordecai schwartz and patrick had went to the door they thought patrick was me Brian said he just wished that I was I was at work that day. He said he just wished that I was at home so he could have saw their faces when I came to the door. And a lot of some black people vote vote for Trump. That that's fine. It's it's not whether what color you are on what party that you vote for. I know that a lot of people around the world watch my videos. 
I've looked at the demographics. I've looked at all the, um, uh, you know, analytics on, on YouTube. So I look and I know, I just want to say to y'all that look, I apologize. This is not the whole attitude of the United States of America. It's not the attitude of all Republicans. And it's definitely not the attitude of all Democrats. It's not the, the attitude of the majority of us because the ma majority of us voted for Hillary Clinton. The majority of us voted for Hillary Clinton. And all these lies and stuff like that, I don't know her personally. A lot of people don't know her personally. And all these people that are making up these lies don't know her personally. And there may have been some lies made up about Donald Trump too, but I'm just saying these people, if you, if you listen to what they say at my job, and I, I don't even, because at my job, uh, three things that we don't, do not talk about at my job are religion, even though we have a lot of Bible thumpers at my job. Religion, we don't talk about politics because we have a lot of Republicans at my job and they tend to get a little rowdy. And then one lady heard something about uh, a rape rack. And a rape rack is what some people were referring to, what they use for horses and what they use for dogs. And that was just, I'm pretty sure it has another name for it, but somebody said that. So we don't even talk about anything like that at work. Cause, oh my word, I was just so offended. I was just so hurt. I had to go home because I, I just didn't know what was, I just didn't know what was going on. And we're here, everybody's looking like, girl, you the only one that got offended about the use of what they call on Discovery Channel a rape rack. This is a rape rack for a horse. That's what they put the female horse in and let the male horse mount her. So, look, if, if you're offended by what I just said, I apologize for calling it a rape rack. For what the slang term for it is called, I'm pretty sure it might be called a, a, a copulation harness. Or a, um, a um, well, copulation harness sounds, sounds, that sounds all right. I can go with that. But... I just don't know what to say. I just, this is not, this is not how we act. And they said, he's unconventional. Y'all got to understand, he just tells it like he is. That's not how you act. You do not act like that. You do not talk to another country like that. You do not disrespect another country. And then you're going to tax them 20%. You know what they're going to do? They're going to tax you 20%. You talk that shit to China. You talk, talk that shit to China. China. Talk that shit to China and watch what happens. The Chinese don't play that shit. And the Mexicans don't either. And they are very proud people. We are the Americans. I'm proud to I am proud to be an American. First of all, let me state that I am proud to be an American. We are very proud people. Even with the shit that's going on now. Shit, it, hundreds of people that look like me are dying. Hundreds of people like me are dying. Getting shot dead in the streets, getting shot in the head. Janisha Fonville. I know Janisha Fonville. It died in Charlotte, North Carolina, because I dated her. The guy that I was with that went blind is her uncle. She got shot, 98 pounds, got shot by the police officer. He said he charged her with a knife, so he disarmed her by shooting her in the hand, shooting the knife out of her hand, and then he shot her in the chest. 98 pounds, a 98-pound female. All lives matter. All lives matter. But black people want them, want y'all to know that black people's lives matter too. I don't think that anybody has the right to be abused by the police or by anyone. And I don't think that the police deserve a lot of flack that they get too. Not all police officers are bad. I know some police officers. I do. But I think a lot of police officers are fucking jerks too. Because I, if, if you... You, first of all, you are a civil servant, okay? You work for the public. You, you don't talk to people like that and we pay your taxes. And, there, and there, if you watch the news here, in which a lot of people around the world don't get the news here, but a lot of the black police officers say they get treated differently when they're not in police clothing. When you can't tell that they're, what is it, the blue shield or the blue wall, they get treated just like every other person or every other person that is a minority. And... Let me just get another thing straight, too. I have been treated like shit by the police, but I don't take shit from anybody. So I have never got my ass beat by the police, thank goodness. But I do know 
you know, that I have rights and you're not going to talk to me any type of way. So I'm not telling nobody to get ignorant. Don't do that because I don't, if you get your ass beat, I don't want that to be on me. But I'm just saying, respect. If you give respect, you get respect. That's all I can say. And this video is going to end up just being long and about nothing. So I don't know what to tell you. I just don't know. I don't know what the hell to say. I don't, I'm, I'm at, uh, like, okay, Patrick got these emoji balloons, right? Okay. Every time Donald Trump say something, the Democrats look like this. Every day for the last week, we all been looking like this, like, what the fuck did he just say? Are you serious? Like, he, he's talking like that to people? This is what, this is, this is what we look like every day, right? This is us. This is the Democrats and some Republicans. This right here is the majority of the Republicans. They are in love with that motherfucker, and I do not understand why. I'm pretty sure he's a good person behind closed doors. You know, because a lot of people are different in public and in private. And then they, they, they got after Hillary about that. You know, she, it, honey, they think they know somebody and they don't. That woman is not as evil as y'all made her out to be. But she did win the popular vote. She just didn't win. She just didn't win the electoral vote, and I'm trying to go along with it. You know, I, I believe in giving people a chance, as you should, but then when you talk all that trash about the previous president and you expect to be treated fairly, do you think that that's really going to happen? Do you really think that's going to happen? It's not going to happen. And you know what? Some people say, I dated a millionaire, okay, for seven years and eight months. I was with a millionaire. Okay, and he's not the only millionaire that I know, and he is not the only millionaire that I have been with. So I know about money. I know where money comes from. Where money comes from. I know I've met old money, and I've met new money. Money does not give class at all. It does not. You can be rich. You can be ghetto. You can be rich. You can be sophisticated. You can be poor. You can be ghetto. You can be poor, and you can be sophisticated. Let's stop this divisiveness. We are all Lucy. Lucy. Lucy and her husband or her boyfriend or her man or whatever or her partner. Don't forget, we all come from somebody that looks like this, whether you want to believe it or not, because that is scientifically a fact. That is not, not an alternative fact. Okay, that is that is a fact. That is a fact as of right now, as if we as Oh, as of we know it, it is a fact. I'm a positive person. I really am. Like, I need to listen to some music or something to get into it or something like that. Because today, like, I was feeling good when I came from work. I was, like, on my bipolar. Like, oh, my God. Like, let's go, let's go get some shrimp from uh from from the uh, the oyster bar. I got some, some blackened shrimp in there and a salad that I haven't even eaten yet. I am depressed. Depressed. The news has depressed me. I'm, I just... You build a wall. Okay, first of all, we all know me Mexicans are very smart, right? And Mexicans are very crafty, very hard workers, right? They are already have already built a tunnel under the wall. There are tunnels going to San Francisco to Mexico. You build a wall 100 feet, they're going to dig 102 feet, bitch. You dig a wall 300 feet, bitch, they're going to dig 302 feet, bitch, and dig under the motherfucker. People that want to get somewhere are going to get somewhere. But look at history. If you want to get somewhere, you are going to get there. Really. I, not one illegal has taken a job from me. I have done phlebotomy. I've done residential counseling. I've worked at a casino. Um, uh, right now, I'm a manager. Not one time has an illegal immigrant taken a job from me. And then they want to, they, what they classify as an immigrant here, and what not here, but as a, a, a broad spectrum, is a Mexican. That's what they're saying, a Mexican, somebody that is from Mexico. There was a girl in my job today, a European girl with a baby. That girl's been coming to my job for three years. She had a baby. First thing I thought, she got an anchor baby. That's what, that's how, that's how baby, because her baby was born in America, so that's her baby. All the Jamaicans that come here, right, they all get white husbands. Or white girlfriends, because they all come in my job looking for wedding dresses. They all come, and I'll, and 
who am who am I to judge, right? The gay black Jew, who who am I to judge anybody? So I don't say this out loud and I, and I, I can judge them internally and I'm not even judging them to where I'm being discriminatory because I'm not because I'm not that type of person. But as soon as I see a big white girl and, and mm, 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 excuse me for saying this the way that I just said it. I I, I do apologize. So, cause there is nothing wrong with big white girls. Because my mama said to me, "You like white, you you like big girls, don't you?" I love big girls. Big girls, with beautiful faces. But when I see, uh, um, God, I'm so sorry for saying this. But when I see a big ass, raggedy ass white girl with this tall, fine ass Jamaican, what am I supposed to think? What y'all got wedding dresses? I'm getting married. I'm looking at him and his motherfucking. Gorgeous ass, gorgeous, gorgeous ass black skin, tall, tall. First thing I'm thinking, mm -hmm. they trying to get citizenship. They're trying to get citizenship. How did you, you know, I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to go there because I, mean, I got so much stuff to talk about and then I might offend some people and I'm not trying to offend nobody. I'm just trying to vent because I need to vent. I need to get this out. This is not how a president acts. You don't act that way. You don't act that way. No Nobody in their right mind acts that way. Whether you're a Republican or you're a Democrat, you know that there is a way that you're supposed to act when you are the leader of the free world. You don't act like that. You don't. You do not act like that. And I watch the news every day, so I am... Eh. You know, and I read too, so I, I would like to say I'm a little educated. I'm not totally educated on um, everything that's going on, but I, I, I read it on what I can read between work. So I haven't read a, a, a complete dossier. You know, I've written, I've read probably almost everything about everything and watched every YouTube video. And even when I'm watching CNN when I'm at home to try to get educated on what's going on. And I just, you ever feel like, bitch, I feel like I'm in the fucking matrix. I I do. I, I Even when, then when Hillary lost, I was like, oh, my God. Like, are you really telling me that, you know, that this is really happening? And I see these people as being billionaire groupies. They really think that Donald Trump is going to make them as rich as he is. Don, Donald Trump don't give a fuck about you. Do you? He. Y'all. Do y'all not? See, I, I don't know. I, people may, you may be looking at this video and may be calling me all types of stuff, but I'm telling you, okay? I have been with millionaires. I know millionaires. I've, honey, it's all about the money. You, you don't tell people how you made your fortune. You don't, you don't tell all the deceitful stuff that you had to do to get to where you are. Honey, you step on a lot of backs to get to all that money. You got to hurt a lot of feelings, honey. A lot of feelings. My brother, he's so damn generous with his money. I can't stand it. Giving the kids $100 bills for Christmas and stuff. I'm like, I, I, I don't have kids. He has a lot of kids. He loves children. You know, I, I, I don't have any kids. I love, I would love to have children one day. But I just, but I just see how people, um, he and my brother really told me, he said, Morty, he was like, it, it's really the truth. More money, more problems. I said, I believe you. I don't want nobody coming to me asking me for money every day. You know, that's, that's just, it's, it's ridiculous. I, I, I just, I don't even have, I don't even have the, the, the fortitude to, um, I don't handle my bills. He, he loaned me a couple hundred dollars for my life bill. These are people that, that um, you know, when I we used to go to the hood and shit like that to go see a couple of the dudes I was talking to. So one of the dudes I was talking to, I'm not going to say a couple, it makes you sound like a slut. But, when, you know, I would go to the other side of the tracks, you know, and I was driving the vehicle that I was driving. And, um, can I get $20? Um, and I only did it because... I like the boy, and that was his sister and his cousin and shit like that, buying him food and stuff like that. But everybody's not like that. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. That's that, that's that tequila talking. That's that tequila from Mexico that's about to go up 20%. So, which I love, by the way. But, um, 
I, I, you know, I don't know what to say. I just had to vent. I, I, Obamacare, I've had it. it. It was fine for me. I didn't have a problem with Obamacare. I didn't have all these problems that everybody else is talking about. Paying $77 a month. $77 a month versus $187 every two weeks. $187 every two weeks. Would you rather be paying uh, $77 a month or $370 something to $380 something dollars a month? Almost $400. Would you rather be paying $77 a month with Obamacare versus my insurance now through my job, which is almost $400 a month? Give me my Obamacare back. Give me my Obamacare back. Y'all won't talk all this trash about it. Y'all just don't like it. I know why y'all don't like it. A lot of people know why y'all don't like it. There's all these bad policies. This man is so damn educated. More educated than many of you all. And then he is a professor of um, constitutional law. If I'm not mistaken. A, professional, a, a professor of constitutional law. Really? But yet... You know, you remember that sign that was held up? Nigger, please. It's the White House. You remember that? The old man hanging the monkey by the noose. Child. Boo. I try not to be like this. I oh, by the way. See? Now that I'm happy. I got my Hillary Clinton nutcracker. <laughs> Rich, I just want you to get his motherfucking nuts and rip them motherfuckers off, Hillary. Right, right. Tear them nuts off his motherfucking ass. Bitch, I want you to get into the White House. I want you to I wish your ass would have got into the White House. Do you think... Do you think that we would be going through this shit right now? All this buffoonery? Do you really think that you would hear stupid stuff? on the news every day, every day. You say you give you give somebody a chance. You give them a chance until they prove you wrong, right? It's been a week. You can give them more time. Give them more time. Because this nigga don't know what he's talking about. This nigga... This is knows exactly what the hell I'm talking about. I know exactly what I'm talking about. I try. I sound crazy. I sound crazy, and I'm not y'all. I'm not crazy. I just, I just don't know what's going on this week. I don't. And you know what? A lot of Republicans that worked at my job they're not even there no more. One of the Republicans that worked for my job got fired for stealing a fucking Furby, and the Furby was talking in his backpack, and he was a minority. He was a minority. He got caught stealing. That Furby with you. I don't know what I'm saying. Trump, 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 Trump. The Furby in his back. Like, I feel so bad for him. He was nice, a hard worker who happened to be of Mexican descent. And he can vote for who he wants to vote for. He was a Marine. He can vote. This is America. We have a process. Really, it should. I, I, in school, didn't it, did they not teach you that the majority rules, right? You raise your hand, you got more hands raised than not raised, right? Or more hands raised for a particular reason than not raised. That majority wins. Electoral college. That's how you won. Electoral college. And y'all know what? Do me a favor, too, besides just using your phone for taking dick pics and selfies. Um, why don't you Google um, when Mississippi ended slavery. They never sent in their paperwork. Go ahead, Google that. You think I'm lying other than taking selfies and dick pics? Google that. Google Donald Trump's father in 1927 when he got arrested. I think it was in Queens. In my, I, you can Google it because I can't Google it now because I'm using my phone, but Google it and you will see that his father got arrested in a riot with the KKK. And I'm not saying that the apple doesn't fall, fall, fall from the tree. I'm not saying that he's involved with the KKK. I'm just saying he didn't even let niggas live in his apartment. In his apartments. Him or his daddy. We'll, we'll bring down the neighborhood. We really would. And that's, that's, that's what they said. So, 
you're a president of everyone, but you wouldn't even let black people live in your apartment. Honey, y'all, girl, everybody thinks that their race is so superior, but don't want to look at the, the, the flaws in their race. Yeah, like they like I was I know I missed this point about how everybody thinks that blacks are violent, right? So we got so much violence and shooting in our neighborhood. Yeah. What about the pills and the alcohol in y'all neighborhood? I don't know anybody that's died from a drug overdose using elephant tranquilizers. I don't know anybody other than the people that I see that use meth that don't look nothing like me. But I think I met two. Two black people that I saw. But you, know, you could tell they was on meth. Bitch, when you looking in a mirror, and ain't no motherfucking mirror there, bitch. You want something. One girl at my job, I don't know what this bitch was on. They try to say that she had an allergic reaction to her medication. This bitch thought she was a DJ. She said, Mordecai, look. She th had the headphones and everything at the cash register. At my cash register. At the, <laughs> and the one manager that I always got upset about certain things when people would bring up the Confederate flag, he would get upset. He was like, oh, just give her a chance. I said, she was on, she was on drugs. Give her a chance. She's at the cash register acting like she is a DJ. She is scratching and got imaginary headphones on her head. And we're supposed to give her another chance. Really? Trying to save face. Which is going on with this administration. No one wants to call him a liar. No one wants to say you're wrong because he is a billionaire and everyone feel look if you don't get anything out of my rent today one thing that my little crazy ass mama always taught me is that you don't got to kiss nobody's ass to be their friend and you remember that whether it's what's going on now in your life with your friends or these people in the administration you don't have to kiss anybody's ass to be their friend remember that my mama always told me that and once again you don't have to kiss anybody's ass to be their friend. See, my main thing is I want to help people. If there's something, and sometimes I need help. See, I always like to be Captain save a hoe but sometimes I need to be saved too. You know what I'm saying? I want to be saved sometimes too. So, like I said, normally I'm a happy person, so I always try to give like advice to everyone that could, because that's normally normally how I am. So I think that I'm allowed to just have this day and um, medicate myself a little bit more. Um, with some tequila from Mexico that will probably be going up 20% because uh, you do have to, um, what did they say, the best way to um, beat a bully, right? The best way to beat a bully is to um, call his bluff. You ever seen how them, you ever seen when them cats attack them bears? Them bears are scared as shit because they don't expect for a little bitty ass cat to be running up at them and attacking them. Like my, my Yorkies, they ain't scared of shit. They be killing squirrels and everything. They ain't scared of nothing. Definitely not, not no people. They better be scared of me. They better not bite me, but I'm just saying. Like, my mama told me, like, when I was getting bullied, she said, shit, you better show the motherfuckers how crazy you really are. She said, they call you a faggot again. Take out a motherfucking knife and tell them, call me a faggot again, I'm going to cut your ass. That's exactly what I did. And what happened? And I'm like, hmm. They knew right then. Mordecai's with a Jewish ass was crazy as shit. You call me a faggot, bitch. See, this is this is like this is a long time ago. This ain't now. Like, I'm I'm an adult. I I this is I'm talking about when I was younger. I've been an adult. I've been through some stuff. I, there is like really nothing, you know, that anyone could say that because I'm 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 good. I'm good. I got a place to stay. I got a job. I got health insurance. I got a car. You know, so uh, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing as an adult. So that is that, that's not boasting about anything i'm just doing what i need to do for myself to to make myself feel like i'm being a part of society you know i pay my taxes you know so you know got a job pay taxes went to a great school to a great college all right a great religion a great attitude a great personality and still sometimes classified as a second-class citizen. There was a lady at my job. I went up to the front to help. She didn't even want to come to me. She didn't. She didn't. And, and the the cashier, she she knew why. And I told her, I said, I am so sorry you had to witness that. I said, but just so I wouldn't have thought that I was, you know, exaggerating. Because I'm, 
people think that that we're so hyper vigilant and and so hypersensitive to stuff. We pick up on little subtle stuff. I mean, I mean, we're we're programmed to that. We we know. You know, and we don't, we try not to be that way, and we're all not that way, and I'm not that way all the time. It's just sometimes, you know, you could pick on stuff when people over talk me to talk to another employee, and I got, okay, I got on a name tag to say to my title, I have on a complete, di completely different color shirt. You're going to ask them a question that you just asked me, and then going to look at me as if I'm going to, like, I'm telling you, like, I'm telling you a lie. I'm trying to charge you something more. I mean, and... <laughs> Oh, God, and then when they say, are you trying to Jew me? I just be like, oh, my God, like, <laughs> really, it's just, it's too crazy. But, y'all, I am so sorry for this 40-minute rant. Um, I don't even know if I'm posting this up or not. I just didn't know what to say. This is only the first week of his presidency or, or him taking office, but it is, it has been, it has been through seven days of lies, um, and and if you're on, if you're a commentator on YouTube, you are the media. So he's talking shit about you too. He's talking shit about you. He's talking shit about me, CNN, and all them other things. Everybody just tries to hold Fox to the end. Fox is not all that. And some of them people on Fox, you know, just wake up and use your mind and. Just know that we can't talk to anybody any other type of way. We cannot treat other countries in such disrespectful ways. All great empires fall. Everyone hangs. Every last empire has failed. Every great empire has failed. Just It's kind of hard for me to talk about just treating everybody else nice when we got so much going on here in America, like just killing people, people just cops killing citizens, citizens killing cops, and re then they just they want to get mad and and you know, like I said, I believe in all my all lives matter, but you look at it and you thinking okay, nine black people got shot in the church right, and People getting shot while just driving, a traffic. You get shot in your back from running from the police. And then you see them planting evidence. Then they get out. And you get a hung, a hung jury, and then you just they, they they ain't even want they ain't even want my natural hair on television here. It's fine, you know what I'm saying? Because boo, this is the way it grows out of my head. This is the way it's gonna be. I don't feel like I want to change this, change this for anyone, even in the position that I have now in my job. I tell, I'm not cutting my hair. I have the right to freedom of expression, the way that I feel, and just because my hair does not grow down, does not mean that my hair is bad. My hair grows up and out. You know, so that's all I had to say. I hope I didn't sound. Um, you know, too crazy, because I do believe in equality for everyone, women, men, everybody. I, I'm, I, I, w I was with a Muslim for seven years, eight months. His mama did not like me at all. For, oh, you Jewish? That's, that's why your nose look like that. And I'm just looking at her like, girl, sit your ass down somewhere. Just, just sit down. You want some pork? Bitch, sit, just sit down. You is that really? That's why my nose looks like. That's the first thing you can think of to say about me. Um, that's that's why your nose look like that. Bitch. Please, whatever, girl. Whatever, whatever, girl, honey. Child, please, boo, honey. Whatever. I don't even know what to say about that. That was so long ago, and you just that's just stupid, stupid stuff. There ain't it's nothing wrong with Mexicans. Mexicans are good people, you know. I'm, and I'm pretty sure a lot of Republicans are good people too. But if if you just isn't that a man, old man on CNN tonight talking about this is the first time in eight years that he feels like he's an American, and then try to backtrack it, talking about I I I've been I felt like an American since I stepped out of my black and blue or my black whatever color he said. But it, I know it had black in it, black uh, pampers with the, the pins on the side of them. Yeah, because you had to backtrack what the hell you said because then you was trying to say that 
you didn't feel like an American as a white man when oh, Barack Obama was the president of the United States, who was a very damn good president, by the way. A very good president. Didn't act like this. Didn't act like this in his first week. Signed a lot of executive orders, but didn't act nothing like this. Nothing. Nothing like this. You know, and of course, there was more people at his inauguration. It was the first black president. And let me tell you this. A lot of, honey, and I, I like the girl, the blonde haired girl on Young Turks, but she made it a point to say the first biracial president because he's half African and half American. His mama could be mixed with a plenty of other things. She's an American. We're all mixed with everything. Look, I, I'm the other boy at my job that said he was Mexican and white. Looks straight up Mexican. Tony say Tony because me and Tony had DNA tests done. Tony's twenty nine percent European. So if Tony ran for president, what would Tony be? The first one third black president? No, Tony would be the first black president, just like Barack Obama. Everybody's like half. He's half black. Okay, yeah. I'm 15% white. Tony's 30% white. You, you can't can't do those numbers like that. Either either he's black, okay, because that's the only other color that he could be. I didn't even know he was mixed until they said he was mixed. He looks black to me. That's his phenotype. He's black. I mean, he even calls his own self black. His wife. She comes from an ancestor that was sold and had babies by the, the master. She's black. So all this, this stuff, honey, shit. Bitch, call a spade a spade, honey. Just give it out. You call a spade a spade, you know? So just, I don't know. I just wish I was one of my dogs. My dog was just Ebony Bianca. When they just laid her, I call their names. They eat, eat crackers and dog food and shit and all the treats and they have nothing to worry about. They don't have to worry about what's going on, whether some of their rights might be taken care of them. I don't want, I don't have a vagina, but I, I definitely don't want somebody's rights to be taken